Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 8th episode of Fly vs. Jerk 11. It's the third and last day of the competition, which means that all teams have to fish in a river. The pressure is rising and the teams only have a few more hours to put their plan into place. Let's roll out the leaderboard and take a look where everyone's at. The number point is held, lo and behold, by Team Leech. They have caught 23 pike in only 3 hours of fishing. The heaviest fish so far weighs 7.82 kilos and is caught by Team Jigarotnu, followed by Team Mouse Fishing with 7.08 kilos. The top 5 point is held by Team Jigarotnu with 434 centimeters on their 5 longest fish. It's a great start, but they need to keep upgrading if they want to keep that point. At the moment, Team Vision has 2 points, Team Ilex Gunky 1 point, Team Jigarotnu 4 points. Team Leech 1 point and CWC Fishing Team 2 points. Let's see what the teams has to say. Hey guys and welcome back to uh, episode 8. Got my big fish buddy in the front here. We are uh, scouting a deep hole. And we have uh, CWC a little bit downstream of us. They're also moving spots here. So it's not it, the fishing is not on. It's actually very slow. But the bites you get are usually very big. So. So I think after this spot, we might head upstream where we have several spots. I think there's going to be more medium-sized fish. So we're going to go and hope to get those top all of fish for top five. And after that, we might might come back to these holes and grind for a one, one huge one. We have fished two spots so far and uh, caught a small fish, a couple of them. And we are located very far up in northern Finland in a very beautiful river. We need to switch place now and try our third spot. We're looking for the big mama here. Pierre, what do you say? Shall we go up? Yes, yeah, Stefan, uh, you're right. I think we need to switch spot now. It's, it's getting slow now and uh, it's not so much to fish, no, not so much time as well, so we need to, to move. Okay. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do move. it. Yeah. This is how we operate right now. We really need to catch numbers. Every fish counts. Okay, Per, come on. Next spot. There's no fish there. But it looked nice. Hello, guys. How's fishing here? We have um, our top fish on seven kilo, and uh, we are happy with that one. Now we are fighting to find another one. Four, actually. So stay tuned. Right before the end of the last episode, Team Jigarotnu caught a good fish they didn't have time to measure in episode 7. Time to see if it's an upgrade. Welcome back to episode 8. Let's measure the fish that we caught the last episode. It's not crazy big, but it's, but still, it's still a fish. It's still an upgrade. I have 81. 81? Yeah. 81. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what, five centimeters upgrade. So let's slow ride it down. Slow and steady. Ah, so far we have been doing good. Yeah, I think so. So we need to keep up our target. Let's do this. Yeah, let's go. Have a good day ahead of us. So we keep fishing with uh, our bait, both of us, because uh, until now the river didn't deliver any fish on the soft bait. So I'm using an articulated swim bait. The scanner, it's uh, fairly small, but at exactly the same size uh, also as Manuel is uh, using. And uh, what we found out also, uh, we have been trying different colors, but the blue colors work really well. So two different action, but good result on both of them. It's been a cold morning and often a big fish doesn't like that. It's going to get better for every minute and every hour. So we go still for three. Kommer direkt. Oh, den här, den här kanske är upgrade. Kom igen. Kom igen. Ja, det är det. Vänta. Kom igen. Vänta. Vänta. It's thin, but it's, it's long. So it's over 80. I hope so. Let's see here. I think it's 83, right? Touching just the 83. Fish. Better. Okay. Bye. It's an upgrade. It must be. On, the sea? On this side? I don't know. Oh, it's following easy now. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Take it on the other side. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay. It's good. Are you with I me? I'm with Pat. Yeah. Ah, come on. Ah, nice, Alex. It's a 90 plus. Boom! We needed that. When two pike strikes at the same time, 
it's always good to have two nets in the boat. So remember that in competitions. You never know. I think it's almost a 90. It's a 89. Nice. We upgrade a little bit. Really cool markings on this bike. Uh, I will release her. Team Leach's tactics seems to be working, going for all three points. At the moment they have 424 cm on their top 5 score, only 15 cm behind Team Gigarotnu. If they catch a pike that's 96 cm or longer, they will get in the lead. We can expect some exciting last hours for sure. We are in the middle of, of the river now, shallow water here. I put this one on, Mia's mouse. And uh, I hope I can catch a big one on it. It was the winning bait last year. <clears throat> so I give it a chance to be the winning bait this year also. <whistles> Come on, fishy. So the spot we're fishing at the moment is a um, deep hole here. Uh, we got the main river coming out here. This makes like an eddy or a backwater. And we have a side current coming out. And that's where the bait is coming in, in this deep hole. And when you have this current coming like this, it's usually a really good spot to put the bait or the flies right at that current line and just fish it slowly like that. Uh, I lost a nice fish in there. Uh, we're out deeper in the hole now. But when you have a current coming out and you have a hole like this, it's always a perfect pike, pike spot. So you can see when just we came out from the edge here, it's just packed with bait fish. So we're gonna fish this edge here now, right here. Let's see if they can, there's any big Fish standing there. Fish. Yes. Big one? Nope. Not even 75. No need for net. This way. Hey. Uh, we don't need net for it's All too right. small. Fishing is really slow at the moment. This is our third fish. But uh, at least we have some action now. A ah, small one. Ooh! Then come here. Yeah. Euro. Nice. Maybe. Nice. Maybe. Maybe. Nice. Nice. Now we are on fire. 80. 86. Uh, we have filled our paper before, but now we do an upgrade with an 86. So we release her back. Woo. Just arrived now to the third spot, so it's a pretty nice spot, you can see the, the flow here, it's coming just outside, and on, on your right side you have like a nice backwater with a small drop, so it's a perfect spot for the pike to stand, and they have lots of food passing here and everything, so usually all the spots like this on the river you, you have some pike. Usually we get the bite quite straight when we, arrive, when we arrive on the spot, so we're going to try this one, and after we'll see what happens and move to, to the next one. So let's, let's start the the spot now. Pierre, yeah. which team do you think we're going to be most afraid of? I think the, the most dangerous I think is Vision because they're on the same water and we know the potential of this water and after that it's hard to know because we don't know where, really where the other guy fish but I think Leech they work really hard for, the, for this competition so they must have really good water for the, for the river. They, they like to go for big fish so I think they, they, will, they will have something nice or they will try to get something nice for sure. Yeah, when we're driving around, we're always mapping up with Solar Shot Live. And you can see here, all the colors shows us uh, the depth. Light colors uh, deeper and the red is uh, a shallow area. And when you're mapping up, you get a really nice view over, over where you fish. We are using Axiom Pro units. It's really nice units, but you should check out the new Sonar family called Element from Raymarine. It's really, really good. And you get all the stuff you got in, in, uh, in the Axiom Pro. So you, you get crystal clear uh, views over everything. Yes! Nia med spö! Du kan inte rilla uppåt. Good, Victor. It's very sad. It's one of the biggest today. And we're going for big pikes today. That's a cigar. <laughs> it's a cigar, it's a pike. It's a clicker. It counts. Oh. <laughs> That's a clicker! Nice pike, I thought it was a really big one, one because I'm fishing on deeper water. 
but it was only two kilo fish, so it's three clicker. That's sad, but I hope it should be a better one next cast. It is now 12 o'clock and it's time for the teams to write down their score in the papers. Number 10 this hour. Ah, We are on track. We are 30. We have over 30 pike. It's uh, 12 o'clock, first hour on this uh, episode. Let's see how many we have here. 12, and it's plus, so it's 35. We continue and uh, raise the numbers up a little bit more. Oh, fish. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Number 12. Not, oh, no. Ah. It's really high up. This you should not. Little touch. Should be 80, maybe. Huh? Should be 80 fish. Right where we want them. Yeah. Zero. Okay. So it's 87 centimeters. Good job, man. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Let's release this. Good release. So now we are at the, this gate place again between two islands. It's a nice spot. We have this yep. shallow uh, area that we're. It's an ambush fishing. spot. From time to time, there's a, the stream is pushing in and out. It's a lot of fish waiting for the fish to, so for the bait fish to pass. So again, you know, it's uh, not only one type of gate. This one is wide. There's a big eel on the middle joining the two points. So we fish those edge both, both sides depending on the on the stream. That's good. Yeah. Number one. It's a nice place. We're moving around this area a lot and. Uh, just fi fishing the edges and this shallow part. So uh, we should keep on moving, Fredrik. Yeah. A little bit higher up, maybe. We do power fishing, targeting the active fish on every spot and not spending too much time. We know it's many fish, so uh, we don't want, uh, we just want to take the easiest one. Yeah. Go for numbers. Just touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. I'm not touching it. Here. It's a small one. Yes, I didn't see that. I'm not taking any chances. No, it's okay. River pike number 15. You know, we have 15 right now. I mean, this is a really good number wise, you know. It's, it's a good number to not going for numbers. Yeah, so we keep this up. We may be in contention for numbers. Maybe. We don't know, but maybe. So. Well, the main point is that we have found bigger fish as well. Yeah. And if, if we get a number point as a bonus, I will not be complaining. We're going to continue hammering here for a little bit more, a little bit longer. But we have some aces up our sleeves. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Smaller. Oh. It's not crazy big, but... It's a pike. Let's see if this is an upgrade. I don't think so, but you never know. Nope. Now we're letting her go. This rod, you know, it's amazing. You know, first you can cast in miles. The big pikes are following, 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 and then striking. So long cast is actually really good. And it's so easy to set the hook with nine foot, bam! And then actually to control the fish it's easier since you have more power. It's not like a you know, hard stick only, so you still have the feeling in it. So I really, really recommend this Gator Explorer Giant Bait. Since last year, we have CWC fishing team fishing with Mura's mouse, a lure that pushed a lot of water. For this season, Niklas Bauer tied a Mura's mouse imitation and it has been working great so far, but it doesn't stop there. The brothers from Team Mouse Fishing came up with an idea how to turn their own spin fly to something similar. Having a lure that push a lot of water seems to be trending. I have put the plastic plate uh, in the front of the lure because it uh, pressed a lot of water and it makes uh, the lure to make uh, another movement. So it's very good. While fishing with that Mura's mouse inspired customization, 
Andreas Andersson hooks up and lands a great fish for the top five score. A fish. It's a fish. A nice fish. Good fight. They measured the pike to 96 centimeters. If we add the other pike of 109 centimeters they caught earlier, they have a top five score of 205 centimeters on two pike. What they need to do is to catch three more approved fish and they will be dangerous for the top five score. Although this is much easier said than done. But with the leading team Jigarotnu doing a bold move, they might just have a chance. Yeah, better? No. Touch the leader, touch, touch. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. If you can, try to release the fish in the water. Less you handling it with your hands, the better it is for the fish. Make sure you have good pliers with you. We use the long nose BFT pliers. Uh, they are awesome. Strong, you have a good grip. Uh, which is ultimately good for the fish as well. Do you remember last year? Crazy f***ed up move we did that went straight to hell. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah, I do actually. Do you? Yeah. You want to do something f***ed up again? Yeah. I know there's big pikes there. Yeah, yeah but it's... Think about it, it's, it's an hour. We throw an hour down the drain. They haven't been biting, the numbers game is no real our game and we need a couple of bigger fish. If we want to win this, we need to go and we need to take big pike. And that's the place to get it. It could be our only chance. This place ain't cutting it. Now, why are we still talking? Yeah, let's go. We need to catch with big pike. And uh, apparently there's not enough of them here or we cannot find them. So we decided to Waste Gamble. one to one and a half hour drive. Uh, we have one spot. We have yeah. one spot. I hope it delivers. All we in. Will, we will see. All Take in. Take care. Oh my god, I hope it I hope it pays off. Wow. Look Stefan on the on the screen. So much bait fish now in each side of the boat. On eight meters, five meters. It's everywhere. Have to be some nice pack there. So much bait fish. We try a new spot and it delivered right away. Not a big one, but you never know who swims here and it's, I'm so pumped up. On the new Mini Mouse, this is a perfect bait for everybody. Everybody can fish it and you can fish it shallow, you can fish it deep. We need to check this fish. Maybe it's over 75 and that's super important because when you fish river, normally you don't get so many fish. You go for the big ones, so hopefully it's over 75. We'll see. Nice color. Yeah. Very dark. Yeah. Super. I think it's 82. This is number three, second on the top five. Okay, we put it back. One fish to report now, 82. Quite slow, but uh, we still have some time and we're on the really good spot with a lot of bait fish, so hopefully we get a big one now. We, we're going to try out for that one. We have one hour left in this area here before we re really go for the big, big fish. At the moment we have 38 fish and our biggest is still 5.5. But we raised the total top 5 to 437. That's good, but we need to raise it much more higher. So we need at least change 83 and 86 centimeter pike. Uh, and then we see what happens. We start with the 2-1. All right, let's go. It is now one o'clock and if we take a look at the leaderboard, we can see some interesting things. Team Leash is still way, way, way ahead with 38 pike caught. That's 20 more than Team Jigarotnu, who sits in second place. The heaviest fish is held by Team Jigarotnu with a pike of 7.82 kilos. When it comes to the top 5 score, Team Leech is starting to catch up on Team Jigarotnu and are only 2 centimeters behind them. Since Team Jigarotnu is in the car, Team Leech here has a golden opportunity to steal the point. Team Raymarine, on the other hand, have had extremely slow fishing. 
Luckily for them, the sun has started to warm up the water and Victor Enblom has finally caught their first approved fish. Finally get a better pike. We tried everything, but it took on a piglet. So now we measure this one and see if it's over 75. Yeah! Big! No. Exactly. It's yeah, it's same size. Come on, Victor. Yeah. <laughs> Two fish oh, in the net. Same size. <laughs> Another one. Measure it. Nice fish. And it's 82. 79, 82. 79 and 82. <laughs> On the jig. I was just to release a pike in front of the GoPro camera. And I ended up with the head first down in the water. Only in Fly vs Jörk. Third day accident. In order to avoid more accidents, Frederick has a great tip for you. Fishing and driving in a river is quite different compared to the archipelago or a lake. Rivers are quite dangerous to, to drive because there's a lot of up and downs, a lot of tops, rocks middle. Even with a good map it's always uh, good to be extra cautious. So a nice vest all the time, sometimes slow down your speed. That would be a good advice. And to save time, some coffee right now between the spots. So Frederick, do you want something to eat? Coffee. You talk about coffee. <laughs> So I just changed to a silver tail. They're not the ones we're looking for, but it's nice that they're biting. But it's still like sink seven, big water pushing flies up in the surface that is working. Imagine 12 kilo of this one. Look at the condition. Oh. Had one? Yes. Good one or? No, it was really kind of powerful strike with it. So I think it was a small one. We've been... Uh, Testing some spots uh, upstreams. It's actually a lot of fish, but just small ones. So uh, we're gonna go down and spend the rest of the day in those three holes. After some slow driving and coffee drinking, Team Ilex Gunki arrives to a big eddy where they had good fishing during the training. This is a school book example how a big fish area looks like. Fredrik, mm? I think the rocky point is more yeah. on your left. We're going to make a stop. We have a rocky point and it's uh, pushing the, the stream away a little bit so it gets the backwater. So it's normally a good place. A cool thing with the auto chart live that you can map when you go in one, uh, one spot. And you're going to see all the contour of your structure. And here we can clearly see that during training we get a fish there. You remember that was a good one, but we can see the position of the fish right behind a rocky point. So it's really cool to use uh, your fish finder, a little bit like your memory. Days after days you're gonna come back, but sometimes you forget small places, small details, and looking at your uh, auto chart uh, map, you're gonna remember, okay, now I know why I took it there, because you're gonna see the point, so after you can concentrate on the same type of structure. Seven meter, yeah. yeah. Oh, but don't take anything. A little tight. Yeah. This is 75. -er. Oh, 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 careful, Frederick. Yeah, that's a 70. Yeah, 76. Look, boom. Nice, nice, nice. One fish to go for the top five. Really nice, Brad. That was a place. We get fish there. We mark it. We come back. Bam. Fish again. Oh, I lost it. It was a big one. It was super big. Down there, we're gonna catch. Down oh, very high up. No, it's huh? bottom fish. Bottom? Yep, okay. in this bait fish. Yeah. Mine side. was high. I lost it like one and a half meter under the surface. So, what should I take? Should I take this color? 
I'm changing to a big alert. I just used uh, the small alert because uh, we wanted to catch the numbers. So uh, I downsized a little bit. But uh, now when, we, when I had the big fish contact, I just want to try to make a few casts with uh, the same color, but uh, one size uh, bigger. This is the 25. The one that I missed the fish on was the 200, a little bit smaller size. So. <sighs> okay, Fred, that was bad luck for us, but still have uh, many hours. After losing quite some time while sitting in the car, Team Jigaratnu is finally arriving to the spot in the second river. Let's hope the bream is here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Here in the river system, we have seven to eight meters deep. The bream is down there. So we will be laying on the edges and actually casting both to the shallow side and to the deep side. We're here to get one fish, you know. If we're lucky, we can get more, but we're only here to get one. So the bait fish is here. Now we only need that window of opportunity when they decide that they are going to eat. We're going to have the same tactics that we did yesterday. We'll be actually anchoring and be on the same spot for four hours until they decide to eat. Let the fish come to us instead of we, we chasing them. Uh, we know they're here, so now just keep our fingers crossed. Maybe. No. You maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Ah, no. Moment of truth. It's 90. Really? Yep. A 90 fish. Whoa! No! Ah, uh, 90 fish. <laughs> I have my hands. It's a war zone. <laughs> I think seven centimeter upgrade, Marcus. That's really nice. We needed that. So we have 90, 437 90. plus seven, four, four, four. Yeah, so now we need two really big ones. One more here, quickly, 10 minutes, and then we go. No, we go now. Are you sure? Yeah. Our goal was to catch six pike an hour. We have ma managed to do that. Our goal was to at least have 35 pike before we uh, leave. Now we have 39. So we go all in now. We, if somebody takes us on numbers now, I think we have proven ourselves. Uh, last year it was 32, now we have 39. We need some upgrades and there we can find those over one meter and also the monster we need. While Tim Leach is changing river, let's take a look at the leaderboard. There we can see that the last upgrade increased their top 5 score to 444 centimeters and thereby snatched the point from Team Jigarot Nu. It will all come down to episode 9. Oh, that's... that's an upgrade. God damn it! <laughs> they are here. <laughs> they are here. We just saw a better follower. It was not the one we want, but it's still an upgrade from, from the 80 or 81 that we have in the bottom. That means they are here for sure. I think it's gonna come to the last cast of episode eight. <laughs> and I promise you that I'm gonna leave it in the net. As yep. Uh, we're not here for those. It was fun though. <laughs> yeah, we, we're not leaving that as a teaser. Yeah. Okay. This is kindergarten. Is the double trouble end of the episode? It is actually. Go and go and be bigger. I don't think this one is 80. <laughs> it is more like 60. Uh huh. It's always no good to know that they're here. Now we only need to catch the big ones. So you're mostly seen as fishing hook flies. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna try tube fly now and I'm just quickly gonna show you how to rig it because we have been, oh, I'm actually, I'm getting a lot of questions how to rig them and how to use them and what's the benefits. So I'm just gonna go give you a quick go through. So this is a sink tree line. Uh, I prefer to have a little bit longer leader on uh, the slower sinking lines. So this is uh, like 120, 130, uh, that's maximum I do. And this is fluorocarbon, 0.60 millimeters. So what I'm gonna do is just take it very quick perfection loop here. If you don't know how to do it, just Google it. And if you tied it correctly, this one is gonna point straight out. Cut it very short. Now we're gonna take a Bauer Pike rig. So it has a hook, a stinger, 
with a, a fast attach, so you can attach the tail. And then you take your tube fly. So this is a pre-made one. It's not something I've tied. Put the leader through here, pull it all tight. Take the uh, hook. And what you do is you just push it into the tube like that. So it's, so it's situated straight. And if you want this to have a little bit sinking motion or a little bit better balance to it, you just take one of these beads. They are available in like 3.45 all the way up to 0.6 grams. Push that over all the way down to the fly. And then you just do loop to loop here. So you go through the loop, this loop over here, over again. So then when you do this, you don't want to pull it like this. You just want to flip it over like that. So you can open it again. And then you take your, there's different wiggle tails, all from the really big ones down to uh, the small wiggle tails. If you're a beginner, use smaller tails. And if uh, you're a little bit more used to casting, use the bigger ones. Take one of these. So you just loop it to this ring and you're good to go. One thing with the tube flies is that you get a little bit better balance. It's not like a hook fly that it's gonna sink down really fast as soon as you stop it. And the second good thing with these is that if you're fishing like a river like we're doing, and we're constantly hitting bottom and we're sharpening and checking the, you can just change the, the rig, put a new one and the fly is not bad. So give it a try, super good. Little bit cool. What? Oh, 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 nice fish. Nice fish. Oh. No. No. Now there. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, but. Nice, pretty cool. I didn't see the issue to that fish. No. Little touch. Oh, and it's loose. Really nice, Fred. Very good. Fish on! Oh, I don't want it to turn. Little touch. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Bait fish. This I will put on my spinner bait later. Yeah, really nice cut off. Really nice. Yeah. Berra Mord and Lasse Litzel representing Team Silver Suzuki have fought hard, but something has been off in the river. During training, they caught several big pike a sander of 5 kilo and a perch of 1.4 kilo. This day, none of the pike have been over 1.5 kilos, but that's about to change. Lars hooks a better fish. This one. Nej, att den är. Åh. Vad händer? Vad fan hände? It was a very big fish on, then it gets stuck. Now it's fish off. That was the biggest fish for today. That was. I klinan. No. Is it fast, Fishing isn't easy and you never want to lose a big fish, especially not during a competition. After fighting the fish for 10 seconds, it somehow got stuck and the hooks fell right out. If you look at the bright side, they might have found some active fish. And far up in the northern parts of Finland, Pierre also hooks a better fish after a long period of nothing. Okay. Good, 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 good. good. Nice. Cool. Cool. Not big, but no, but it's super cool. We just arrived at a new spot uh, there. Really interesting spot. It's very shallow in the middle. And close to the shore, you have like a really deep area. Couple of casts with the mouse and contact, first contact. So it's good. No. I think so. No, no. 70, 78. <laughs> Put it back. We really want to talk about our gears, what we use these three days. Uh, of course, we have the BFT Instinct X7, Super Real 6.2. And I'm very proud to put my name on a new rod, Lizard X 710, up to 130 gram. It's light like a feather. It has a really good backbone, tip action, and you can use it to all kinds of methods. Jerk bait, rubber bait, small mini mouse, super rod for the archipelago, Whatever, 
It's also titanium American Tackle Guides who do this blank super, super light. You have a good shrink rubber in the back handle. So even if it's rain, it's not slippery. So this one, that's the, the big, uh, big fish rod. The big gun. Yeah, the big gun. <laughs> this is the same design as the other one, but the specification of this one is made to cast big bait. So it means like longer rod, 8.6, 200 grams. So you, it's perfect rod to cast, of course, the mouse and the pig shad, the giant pig shad, and any big rubber. And the good thing with this rod is you can catch, you can cast heavy bait all day with no effort because you have big handle, a long rod, so you cast with no effort and you can put the rod under your, your arm like this and fish all day with really, really uh, no effort. So I really love this rod. I use all the time and, uh, and this week we, we use a lot. Yeah, of course. And I think those two rod is perfect because one for big bait, one for small bait and smaller bait. And uh, we're quite proud of those rods, really nice. So check out the Lizard X series from Catch With Care. It is soon two o'clock and it's the end of episode eight. The teams can do one last cast. Well, last cast, episode eight. Make it count. Let make it count. Where are you going? Okay, I'll go this way then. Last cast of episode eight. Yeah, last cast. Didn't improve much. No. But we improved. We lost the big one and we're going to return to it. So. Oh, fish! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> what? We have been having really slow fishing for the last hours. The sun has been out. It's been very, very clear, and very cold. So we moved back to the hole where I lost a quite nice fish in the morning here. I can see it. We got some overcast. The wind is actually pushing into this cove and. Uh, we're gonna try the edges, so let's see what happens. Hopefully we can get some uh, decent action. We need to catch something big now. And make sure, whatever you do, join us on Friday in the final at Sportfiske Messen in Stockholm. It's going to be epic, as always. Well, that was the end of episode eight. We need to catch big pikes to be in contention and hopefully win. It will be tough. Nothing is enough. We're not enough for numbers or the big fish or the top five, but there is one last episode. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. So this is the end of uh, episode eight. Luckily we get the big pike, 96 centimeters. We want uh, three more uh, pike over 75 centimeters. So we have full paper. So now we're gonna get more numbers and we're gonna spend some hours on big fish as well today. Let's go. Yeah, we need to step up. We need to catch 10 fish very fast. We had a plan to go for the five real big ones today, but uh, it's not over yet. Hope to see you everyone in the sport fishing fair in Stockholm next week. We will be there. We never stop fighting, Barra. Let's do this. Yeah. Have a real big fish now. The fishing to the bitter end yes. today. Yeah. It's kind, kind of tough fishing. We, we still need two more nice fish for the top five. Yeah. And this is the end of episode 8. Yeah. So, see you guys at Sportfiske Messan 2020, Stockholm. Okay, we are leaving for the last spot for the really big fish. So, come to Sportfiske Messan and watch the episode there. See you. Time to roll out the scoreboard and see the result. The number point is held by Team Leech with 40 pike. That's a solid number, but from now on, they will only target the big fish. The heaviest fish is still caught by Team Jigar.nu with a weight of 7.82 kilos. That's a good fish, but any team can catch bigger at any time. The top 5 point is held by Team Leech with 444 centimeters on their 5 longest fish. That's a solid number, but several teams are breathing heavily down their neck. At the moment, Team Vision has 2 points, Team Elex Gunki 1 point, Team Jegartnu 3 points, Team Leech 2 points, and CWC Fishing Team 2 points. If the competition would end now, Team Jegartnu would be the winners. Although, keep in mind that one fish could turn the result upside down. 
The next episode of Fly vs. Jerk 11 will go down in the history of reality filmed fishing competitions on YouTube. The teams have had zero to none sleep for the last three days and one small mistake will be the difference of ending up as winners or as the first losers. Whatever you do, don't miss the next episode that will be released next week. We will have a pre-screening of the final episode at Sportfiskemässan in Stockholm the 20th of March. All the contestants will be there and watch it together with you. When you are at Sportfiskemässan, make sure to bring your old or broken soft plastic lures to our recycle bin in the Canal Gratis stand. We will recycle them into new lures and give you some cash back for it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see as many as possible of you at Sportfiskemässan next Friday the 20th of March. Take care and buckle up because the next week shit's about to go down in the last episode of Fly vs Jerk 11.